I'm Jennifer Biggs with the Daily Memphian. Today in the studio, I have Chris Harrington and Eric Barnes. We are doing what we call a home and away. You can find current and past podcasts of Sound Bites at DailyMemphian.com. You can listen to it on WIXR 91.7, your Crosstown Radio at 11 a.m. on Thursdays. Find my food and dining stories at DailyMemphian.com. You can find Chris's things there. You can see Eric all over the place there. And you can join our Table Talk group on uh, the Daily Memphian's Facebook page. Welcome. Welcome. Well, what does it mean that I'm all uh, over you are, there? Listen, well, I'm, I'm so saying, you can find I, my articles, you can find Chris's articles, and then you all, can find Eric all over. You are all over. Your thumbprint is all over there. Not only, we're even we're even going to talk a little bit more about this once we get to the away part of this <laughs> home. I, I, I did start to giggle when you said home and away. Well, that was yours, right? Right, because, it's a home and away, right? It's a sports thing. You do a home and away. It yeah. is. Uh, we're, we're playing playing a back-to-back, but, but a home and away <laughs> back-to-back. It's the NBA does that now sometimes. Yeah. It's a home run. <laughs> All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. good. This Three is points. Like, this yeah. is good sports talk. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Anyway, yeah. on to the topic. Here we are. Well, what we did, everyone, is we decided and we went because Whataburger came kind of to town, still in South Haven, but we're going to have plenty of places around here too. We went out and compared some fast food burgers. We didn't go together. We all went separately. Everyone's on their <laughs> honor to wait for 30 minutes in line at Whataburger in South Haven like I did. I'm sure you all experienced the same situation. I didn't situation. know that was one of the rules. <laughs> Yeah, I said you're on your honor. You do what you do. We'll talk about that experience in a minute. But we did these burgers. We did you kind of your your classic um, fast food burgers, which what, we put Whataburger in. Wendy's, McDonald's, um, Burger, Wendy, King. Burger King. Then we went with Freddy's, which is a, a very good fast food burger. And then we threw in the local love. We did tops. So we did six burgers. No, but uh, Jack Pirtles. Uh, what? Did you do? Mix. Did you do Jack Pirtles? Yeah, it was only one of the only ones I did. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, Jack Pirtles, I was going to stop and get Jack Pirtles today because I didn't think, Chris and I didn't have that on our list. Yeah, that was so, not on the list. Where, was, okay. where did that come from? I don't know, your head. But I did talk no, about it. No, it was written down. It was it, in writing. It, it may have been in there as a contender. We did decide to do Tops instead of Jack Pirtles. I did tops. As top, uh, Jack Pirtles is a fabulous burger i'm so glad Jack you Pearls did it. is a fabulous burger i, I can't believe so i've glad. driven by that place for 25 years and never gotten the burger well like, oh my god i intended to stop and get some today but as we all know this morning did not go as planned <laughs> i came in late and everything i didn't get jack pertle burger so yeah. but i'm glad you had it so you you want to talk about your jack Pearl, uh, yeah well are we, first it, it it was really really good i, I didn't you get know the double that. got the double just as the, just double, said, cheese. Double, double cheese and fries mm-hmm. and then we got some chicken just because well, we wanted some chicken. Well, we sure. Why Pearls. not? So, so we went and we ate that down by the river, and it was just amazing. I have, I have always been. Have you ever had the Pirtle Burger? I've never had a Jack Pirtle Burger. No, I've had the fried chicken, obviously. Not obviously. Some people have it, but I've had the fried chicken. I've never had a burger from Jack Pirtle. Here's what Jack Pirtle does well, besides chicken, and they do a gr- the cheeseburgers great. Do- get the double though. Always get the double because yeah. it is it is a real skinny burger, so you want to double it up. Yep. Um, it's a griddle fried burger, similar, you know, in spirit to a Topps burger or a Freddy's burger in that it's thin. It's not a smash burger like Freddy's, but it's a great burger. Um, and then, of course, the chickens, I mean, the gizzards and the livers are good. I'm sure you had some of those. But they also do a fabulous smoked sausage. They do oh, this, really? Yeah, it's so good. It's really good. This, you get it get it with mustard and coleslaw. Yeah. Mm. No, the Pearl Fruit was great. It's like, it's got kind of a mustardy thing going and it's kind of, it's not like a typical secret sauce and there's some lead. I didn't, I mean, I have a picture somewhere. We, we, Leslie and I, my girlfriend and I split one and loved it. I, and right. it was better than, I'd never had a Topps burger, which mm-hmm. is embarrassing, which was very good. Oh, wow. But it was better for me. There's a never have I ever yeah. right there. I know. Well, I know. I mean, actually there's that's lots true. of those yeah. in Memphis for me, actually, sadly. Um, but yeah, no, it was again in the Topps burger was really good, but it was just the Pearls burger was really nuts. You know, some of this depends so much because we. I'm sure that you all went into the. You went in. I went in with ideas of what my favorite will be. This is going to be my top. This is going to be my bottom. If I were only judging from this round, 
I would not have put what I know to be my fast food favorite burger at the top. But it wasn't its fault because if you go and you pick things up, the first one you get is not going to be ideal by the time you get it home and you sit down and you start eating. That's just how it is. I mean, and, yeah. and that did happen. So my Freddy's fell a little short this time, but that's what I anticipated would be my favorite. But you want to start at your bottom? I, I, didn't eat, I, didn't, I don't think I ate any of these burgers at home. I think I ate them in the car, <laughs> which is what you do when you go through a drive through <laughs> right? Yes, I agree. Well, um, see, I, you know, yeah, the, I, I don't, I, I think to, Tops I have like brought home and eaten at home. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that's the only fast food burger I've ever like brought home and eaten in my home. Well, see, like, I ever. Have- Okay, I have a thing about eating in the car because I can't stand. I even have a thing about transporting food, uh, like prepared food in the car, because I can't stand the smell of onions in the car. Right, and so that's that's just a thing. I can remember one time when my uh, ex son in law borrowed my car for something, and I, I got in my car the next day, and I. They were in town from Texas, and I went into the house, and I said, you ate fast food in my car last night. And he said, I did not. I said, I smell onions in my car. And he said, I mean, I felt kind of sorry for him because he really looked as if he was telling the truth. And I, who knows? But I said. um, (laughs) Oh, I think we know. Well, I think we know. know. what, What he did, he finally came back. He said, you know what? I drove through Crystal and I got a Diet Coke. And it, it, I kind of believe, I do believe him because the, I believe the, the you can get. smell wafted I believe you the, could, I believe I am that sensitive to the smell of it in a car that the smell from the drive through window could have gotten into my car. Natalie is saying no, she's busting him out. That's okay. It's I'm trying right to think now. of the lies I told ex-mother-in-laws in the past is that's not really <laughs> all i can do very none minor. were as flimsy as that yeah, that, that was just, very flimsy we'll just let that one go honestly that you're right yeah. it's not a big deal okay does anyone want to say it you want to shall we start with the bottom and work our way up i, I, do, I have no idea what our structure is i'm waiting for let's a start, signal let's start with the worst <laughs> burger you ate or the worst burger of those six burgers so my you know we, we did I don't know if everyone else did this, but we, you and I, Jennifer, talk about thinking about burgers and fries as a combo yes. and sort of thinking about both. So strictly from a burger standpoint, I got my number six burger of the six, and I would not would not have been my prediction. My dead last burger is Burger King, um, which I didn't. I got a Whopper instead of like whatever the regular burger. That's what they're known for. So I got a Whopper. Mm-hmm. And uh, let me say on the front end. Of these six burgers, three of them, like, I've had, without doing it for this sure. contest, I've just had in normal life in right. recent months. And three of them, I mean, special trips I've not had in years, mm-hmm. right? Burger King was one I had not had. I don't remember the last time I had a burger from Burger King. So I got a Whopper. I did not think it was very good. It was too It was too big. It was too wide. I, w- I think I would have preferred the regular size burger. They overdid the mayo. I like mayo on my burgers, but they way overdid it. And... I'm not, I guess those are burgers that are like cook, cooked over a flame. That's their gimmick. But I think they're like sprayed with like liquid smoke or something, right? Is that what's going on in it there? Is, did, it, there also, is something real flamey about it. There's but. something real flamey. Did it taste pretty much the same as it did like 10 years ago, the last time you had one? Yeah, it's probably the same yeah. burger. Yeah. From, from so 10 that years is why ago. I didn't, I will say that's why I did not do Burger King. I was you like, didn't I, I got it. No, because I was like, I, I can't, I will be sick all weekend if I eat Burger King. What was your least favorite? Well, my least favorite of these, I didn't do all of them. Sorry, mm-hmm. I just didn't. I didn't have, I just did, couldn't, did but I'm still partic- participating but as if I did. But you did hurdles, and that's good you bring that yeah, to the Yeah, I, I was like, I'm going to do the really, really, truly local ones that I hadn't done. So that that's kind of what we prioritize. Burger King is my least favorite fast food place of the burger places. Mm-hmm. It's just gross. It was also, you didn't ask, but it was also my dead last of the fries. Do they still do those kind of weirdly fake seasons no, kind of things? So they didn't. the fries were different because the fries used to have some kind of weird coating on yeah, them, which right. were disgusting. Yeah. yeah, these are more generic, mm-hmm. but they were like generic. They were generic. Like they, there was just not much there, not much there. There they were. They were a little bit thicker than like your McDonald's kind of fry. A little bit thicker and a little bit less flavor, which is like you know a negative on both counts. And I thought they were completely forgettable. And so I got Burger King dead last on both of my separate lists. So, you know, I put which it, makes I them put dead it, last I put overall it last for me. on the fries. Burger King came in as a bit of a surprise on my list, as we'll see. My last was McDonald's. McDonald's isn't even a burger. McDonald's is not even food. I what just did, cannot stand. I, I, I can't exactly argue with that. But uh, what, what did you get at Burger King got, that you liked? It, I'm fascinated by that. It, at Burger King? Yeah. 
I got a Whopper, which I haven't huh. had a Whopper, I bet you, maybe 20 years. I mean, I don't yeah. eat fast food. Yeah, yeah. Well, Freddy's is the exception on fast food, and I get a Frosty at Wendy's, um, which I did, because who's going to Wendy's and not getting a Frosty? Uh, I thought that I was really surprised. It was very heavy on mayo. I will agree. Mine yeah, was, too. It was, like, squirting out, which is yeah. not what you want eating in a car, by the way. Well, I, t- I took all of mine <laughs> home, and right. I, I put I separated them into quarters just because I knew I wasn't going to eat that much of a burger. I mean, right. I mean, you know, just— Did you put rubber gloves on? <laughs> I mean, what I, other peculiar things do you do before you, you know, eat fast it just, food? I had towels all over me. I mean, it was just this whole thing. I had a cape. I mean, it was— <laughs> The lights were very dim. Yeah, it was. I had— Did you, you have tongs and goggles? <laughs> it was, know, you know, like, and, and it, we, I pulled it apart with tweezers. I put everything over here. The you know, pickle, oh pickles over here. Let's examine closely. The the, the burger came. As I was saying, I'm the man me. of the people yes. eating a Whopper in my pick up <laughs> well look at you go i took mine home i cut it in quarters was very surprised here's the one so my thought was i will order all of my burgers mustard pickle onion just kind of the classic burger combination but i thought no at whopper you get a whopper and not at whopper oh my god it's at burger king you get Without a whopper cheese on all of these? now i got a cheese a cheese on everything cheese except, get what? well there, there was the there was the issue of no cheese, but that's still to come. Okay. So I got the uh, Whopper Whopper cheese, and I was extremely surprised. And I said, "Wow, I like this." And it doesn't even seem like when I ever ate fast food that I ate Burger King. I'm it shocked. It did have that. Fa- I do think it was a fake. Smoky flavor, yeah. definitely. And I think you know, they're spraying I don't like... some liquid smoker. Well, they run it through that thing. They run it through a flame, one of those conveyor belt flame right, things. Right, right. But I think they whatever they use for the flame has a flavoring in it because they're, they're not running there, it. Over there's a chemist. Uh, there's a chemist yeah, in an office just, in a corporate yes park somewhere. Kind of with, oh, I'm certain of that. The, I, the fries were terrible. I it, won't go back to Burger King again in my life unless it's another assignment for something. Well, it was the last burger I picked up on the way home, so it was the warmest. And that could have something to do with it, too. And I took that into... Uh, Wait, did you go pick them all up at once? No, no. Oh, but okay, because that I was did. getting really weird. Yeah, I got three <laughs> at a time. This was... So I I did... uh made F- F- Freddy's on Poplar, then did the little Wendy's tactical error. Went through Wendy's first, had a Frosty. Didn't matter. Ate it in the car. That was okay. You can eat a Frosty in a car because it doesn't okay. like onions I'm at all. taking notes. Um, gave me the wrong size. Uh, almost every order, by the way, was wrong in some way that I got. But at Wendy's, I was getting a medium Frosty. They gave me a small. Drove over to Burger Cream directly across the street. Got the Burger King. Went home. Did it all. Cut it all up. Was it Burger Cream or Burger Cream? He called it Burger Cream. <laughs> no wonder it was good. Because you went, went to the wrong oh, no. restaurant. You didn't go to... You it to- was Burger <laughs> King, whatever I called it. It was Burger oh. King that I went to. Okay, so. if you want to know more about that weird taste uh-huh. in the burger and the conveyor belt Eric was talking about, and if you like the History Channel, there's a show that I really <laughs> enjoyed called The Food That Built America. And there's an episode, like every episode pits like different companies against each other. And there's one that focuses on the rivalry between McDonald's and Burger King. Oh, and wow. you can learn a lot more about that conveyor well, belt. The book, it's been a long time since I read it, but the book Fast Food Nation has a chapter that's about about the food chemists involved. Yeah, right. At least yeah. on the McDonald's side of like what? fine-tuning yeah. flavors of things. That's true. I've read that one too. And I do, right. I, I'm, I'm sure that that's the case, that there's something on it. Oh, the, the, the are you Malcolm Gladwell? Fan, the yes. revisionist history, and he yeah. did uh-huh. one or two on the McDonald's French fries and the changes in the, the the whole formula and the history. And he went and met with people. If you're into the, like like if, and he just talks about as a kid how much he loved the McDonald's French fries, and then they changed. And most people, I mean, they changed the formula. They're not as good. And well, that the main is a thing they changed episode. was instead of cooking them in beef fat, they cooked them in vegetable oil. They used to yeah. cook them in beef fat. Yeah, like prior to 1990. And yeah. there's also the uh, this thing that I, our taste buds evolve too as we grow older, Malcolm Gladwell. And I think that possibly no. you're not going to no. like what you like no. as a child no. as much. No. Yeah, no, I think wrong. that's the case. I'm sorry. Well, back to the food that built America. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about how it was like revolutionary that McDonald's um, used the same potato for all their fries and how that impact like – spread throughout the country and like changed agriculture because now they're buying this one type of potato from oh. all these farmers and they had to change what they were growing well, in order to meet the demand and it was right. 
as a farmer's daughter. Very the, interesting. The movie, the Michael Ke- uh, Keaton movie. Um, uh, what, um, yeah, the, the founder. The, the founder. Yes. That is re- that's a really good movie. I think. Is that about? And I it's, agree. It's about right Ray Clark. Kroc and mm-hmm. the right. story. It's a really. It's just an interesting movie, and he is really good in that. And it's a very compelling story. Also, you learn a lot about how the McDon- how the revolution of McDonald's and how they everything they did was so interesting and the the breakthroughs breakthroughs Ray Kroc did not um he bought the company you know he did not found McDonald's he well, we no, know exactly. cuz we watched the movie Ray, Kroc, mm-hmm. not Ray McDonald yeah that's right true. yeah it, indeed and also the, wh- where where he really made his money was on real estate cuz the and that was this revelation in that and i've heard read that since that that what they did was they basically they started franchising and they said, one, you have to buy all your stuff from us, from the company. So mm-hmm. the company made a lot of money there, but they made most of their money. They owned all the land for a long, long time underneath the McDonald's. But the franchisees owned the building and the license. So they were like this massive, they just, their rent stream was bigger than what they would make off French fries and everything else for a, a while. Well, you know, Tops locally, um, it, and not now because they recently did sell some of their properties, even though they still have Tops in those locations. But when, um, I can't think of his name right now, it'll come to me in a second, but the man who founded Tops, they would not open a new Tops until they had land and until uh. they had it paid for and yeah so he would have you know the land and have enough money to, to yep. start it and open it yep. and so he never borrowed money which was a, a great way and it ended up with 16 or 17 stores so huh. um but mcdonald's is i got a double cheeseburger because i thought that would be as close as i could get Ooh. to anything it, it, mcdonald's is your number six oh yes on the it's terrible I've had so, McDonald's at number five. But you go ahead. You're talking about you had the double Well, I just, the double cheeseburger. So I did not know that they had a thing called a double hamburger, which is just, you know. Two, well, yeah. but Like bun, ketchup, little those little chunks of onion and two if, patties? Even, even worse, um, <laughs> if you're my grandson, it's just buns and burger. And that's it. Because he's that's he nothing does. on it. Yeah. So I was taking them through McDonald's not too many uh, weeks ago. And... And he had just, you know, switched to eating this double hamburger with nothing on it. And you have to check it and make sure there's no stray anything on it. Yeah. So he'll he'll eat it. And what I ordered, I didn't know they had a double burger. So I ordered double cheeseburger, nothing on it, no cheese, no <laughs> burger, no. I mean, I mean, you're really putting your thumb <laughs> yes. on the scale. It doesn't Listen, like you need help but, being last on your list. Well, really I know, out, exactly. This was, this was totally not their fault. This was my fault. And so we get up there and, you know, they finally get the order to me and I open it up and I said, there's cheese on this. And she said, you said with nothing on it. I said, including cheese. Oh, you're and, that person. And she said, but you ordered a <laughs> cheeseburger horrible. and both both of my grandchildren, who supposedly love me more than anything in the world, both said, yeah, you ordered a double cheeseburger. And I said, well, he won't eat it. Can you give me a double cheeseburger without cheese? And they both, all of them, I think, I think all three said, it's called a double hamburger. And I said, wow. whatever. So they do have such a thing, as well, terrible as it must be. So I got a, I got a quarter pounder with cheese, or La Royale with cheese, if you're watching mm-hmm. Pulp Fiction. Nice. And it was Better than I expected. Um, it's been probably a decade since I've gotten a burger from McDonald's. Not a decade since I've been to McDonald's, but a decade since I've gotten a burger from McDonald's. And it was better than I expected. It's, I still have it fifth on the list, but like much closer to four than six on my list. And it was it was probably juicy to a fault. It was a little bit too like greasy, juicy. But it was much better than I expected or that I remembered. And I went and did a little research, and apparently at McDonald's now... Because, you know, Wendy's used to advertise our, you know, our, mm-hmm. our beef is never frozen, to contrast with McDonald's. Apparently, at some point in the, in the recent past, McDonald's started using fresh beef on quarter pounders. The other burgers are still frozen, but the quarter pounders apparently are fresh that are cooked to order. And so, maybe so, because it was certainly much better than I remembered it being. Well... I never have to eat there. Now I do have to sometimes. I'm not. Get I'm the not kids. I don't see myself right. going back and getting get one. But I, I'm just saying. I, I was Darn. expecting the worst, and it was it was a little bit better than that. If I ever have had to eat there, like if it's just the only place you can stop on a road trip, you have kids, and you have my mother who likes McDonald's and wants to always stop at McDonald's, which is terrible. This I will get a filet o fish. 
I like the plant fish. That's, I've never me had too. one, but it sounds really gross to me. It's not. It's, I mean, it's not it, great. It's, it's, it's gross. gross. It's, it's fast right. food gross. I mean, right. but I, right. I, it's a go-to yes. order. It's that just this be, weird steam bun yep. with this. That half slice of cheese. Yeah, it's kind of like sauce, in the future the, right. when all of society is broken yes, down. Square. This will be one of the yeah. things we are served by the powers that be. The yeah. cheese of that is what grosses me out more than oh, the fish. It's, it's all it's, gross. It I'm not all, defending it. Up, but it I, just, I, just fish right. and cheese. Yeah, if I'm on a road trip and I have to do McDonald's, I'll do that. If I'm The only other time I go to McDonald's is if I'm hungover. I will either do an egg McMuffin in the morning, which mm-hmm. is an elixir for a hangover for me, or I'll do a Big Mac. Well, but again, in the morning, uh, depends on how hungover I am. I mean, but over. I haven't been morning, that hungover yeah. in a long time. But I'll do on a road trip once in a while if I'm just like, all right, I'm doing a Big Mac. I can't believe this, and it's now, it's gross. I haven't had a I Big mean, Mac since that. Would, I I would not actually mind just trying and seeing what a Big Mac tastes like. I don't know. I, I got I no mean, interest. I, had, I got no interest in a Big Mac. Yeah. I, I can't blame you. It's very lettuce It's Thousand Island. It's a lot of bread. It's very weird that I like them. I think it's almost nostalgic. Those little chopped onions. I got I got uh, you're, you're, yeah. That's what I like. So, you the chopped onions. onions. No, like, Chloe's that big, too. She like, when I make them, you know, burgers at home, she always wants, you know, would you do my onions like McDonald's? She wants her onions chopped up and a little bit soft. And On and, on Sidebar, which comes up after Sound Bites, I'm going to tell the story of my one of my best friends from childhood ordering everything on the menu at McDonald's. And, and then we can we can talk about something called everything on the menu or every <laughs> single thing. Now, how that person did that, I cannot I'm imagine. Tell it's a tease. You got to turn into to sidebar just at 1130 tuned, on WYXR or your, in your podcast feed. Because we are just going from it's a one to the other. Story. McDonald's does have good fries, though, right? I mean, the yes. fries I were. Got fry, I got McDonald's number one on my fry list. They're not. Really? They're, they're number two on mine. When they're fresh. They're they, so they good. Are. They're yeah. They are. If you get a good right. recipe and hot, yeah. Yeah, they are great. And maybe they're not cooked in beef fat anymore and they're vegetable oil. Maybe yeah. they were better 20 years ago. I still think they're sort of – they're still like the platonic ideal of the fast food french fry. Right? I yeah, think, that's I, true. I, well, I do think there's one better that I had and uh, Chloe, who is the french fry connoisseur. And I, well, I don't know. I like french fries a lot too and she is actually only a child. So maybe I know more about them than she does. But I don't know if so, I know more about anything than So Chloe. I don't know if anyone else remembers this. Probably, probably didn't see it the first time to even remember it. But like a few years ago, like when the, when the, when the website The Ringer – launched, I don't know, five years ago, six years ago, whatever it was, out of the action of Grantland, the first big thing they did was they did their list of the America's 50 best fast food items. Mm-hmm. And they had McDonald's French fries, number three. They had a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich, number two. I don't get it. Their number mm-hmm. one was, or maybe it was a Chick-fil-A sandwich, too. I don't remember what it was, too. It was in and, some In-N-Out Burger, too. But their number one was waffle fries from Chick-fil-A, which I think may be the worst moment in the history of list making. It's the only thing I like it at, at, at Chick Fil A. I hate Chick Fil A, and I know I'm not saying those waffle fries are very good, but I I find Chick Fil A revolting, and it's really I, my kids love it. And I mean, I, I know so many people who love Chick Fil A, and I never understood. No, the grandkids like it too, but uh, because they like chicken nuggets, but I yeah, I won't eat it because I just you know I, it's it's self righteous chicken, and I'm not going I'm <laughs> not gonna eat it. That's just how it is. So it, the, if they want it, they can, can a dead chicken be self righteous? Well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> They can, uh, if they're going to eat it, then they can eat it, and that's fine. But it's not a, um, it's not something that I would ever. Yeah. I just, again, until this, with the exception of, you know, having when I discovered a Freddy's burger, and I thought, okay, I would eat that. So that was that your number one? It was Freddy's? It, yes. What, where was, I, I didn't make we it. Had Freddy's was your number one burger. Are we talking about the Freddy's now? Well, number- no, well, yeah, but I, th- I thought we were just going to work our way up the list. I, I'm, he just asked I'm following me. leads. Okay. You tell me what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, well, okay, so you, we know you're four and five. I mean, no, we know you're know five, five and six. six. Right. Are you ranking at all? I mean, my I didn't do Freddy's or Whataburger, which is great because I really failed on that because Whataburger was the whole like lead on this thing. So I would do fast food from the bottom. I would go Burger King and then a tie for Wendy's and, and McDonald's. I mean, they're, mm-hmm. they're gross. And then, then from okay. the top well, was, was we're Pearls. I got Wendy's four. Tops. I had Wendy's five. So you had Wendy's. So you had, so you had Burger King higher. Yeah. You had Burger King four. Burger King was, is, you know, I don't have my reading glasses today right. either, so I can't see anything. Let me go through my list real quick in my head. I think you said you had Burger King four. Yeah, it was the top. Of Burger your King three. four, Wendy's five, McDonald's six. Yeah, is that what you're saying? Yeah. 
I think so. The yes. Does. Although, yes. But here's the only thing, the problem with the Wendy's was, because usually I think Wendy's has a has a decent burger. I mean, I haven't had one in a long time. They have a decent chicken sandwich, too. But um, there was, like, absolutely zero salt on that meat. Like, they put it on the grill. I had that problem on the fries at yeah. Wendy's. So, yeah. so of, of the big three, and we have the big three at the bottom mm-hmm. on our list, um, a different order, but we got, there, there's a tier here. There's the right. top tier and a lower tier, and these three... You know, big national chains we have at the lower tier. I think deservedly so. Wendy's of of the three is 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 by far the the place I have gone to the most in my life, mm-hmm. especially in my adult life when I make choices. Like Burger King, I just don't do it all. And McDonald's, like I'll get fries or whatever. Wendy's, like I go to Wendy's occasionally, like if I'm on the road or whatever. Mm-hmm. If, like if you if you're at a if you pull off the interstate and you got a McDonald's and a Burger King and a Wendy's there, like I'm going to Wendy's. Mm-hmm. I typically would get a chicken sandwich, not a burger at Wendy's. Right, and they have a they have a good. I like spicy this. I like the spicy sandwich. chicken yeah. sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. The spicy um, chicken. But I get burgers every once in a while from Wendy's, and and my my experience has been it's more inconsistent place to place than the other two, um, and maybe that's because of the fresh never frozen mm-hmm. thing. But like the good Wendy's burgers are so much better than than any That's McDonald's true. Back or, when they used to go or, or Wendy's, Burger King right. burgers. They they are wildly inconsistent. I did I, feel I like the that. bun was a little bit too hearty for the. I got a single at Wendy's. Right. I didn't get a double, and maybe I should have gotten a double. But it seems like they've changed that bun at some point over. I don't know in the last. I can't tell you how long. Ten years, right. whatever. Maybe the, the, Could the be. bun seemed I, like it was. I, a little I, I like the I like the texture of their burgers better than McDonald's or Burger King. I like the square and a little bit hanging over. Right. It's a little bit different. You know, I, I think they're inconsistent, but I think they are they are definitely a cut above a McDonald's and Burger King burger. Well the fries though, no. Nah. I think not- they are they are too proud of their French fries. That, that's where I want to stake a claim. And they're they're inconsistent. They're either mediocre or really bad. Well they're advertising. I was thinking these about this. Bad. I was thinking about this today and I'm wondering where have I been seeing all these commercials? Because I don't watch TV. And they must be advertising on Better Call Saul, because that's the only broadcast TV I've watched since the end of basketball season. Uh-huh. But I keep seeing Wendy's commercials like about their French fries. Well, maybe they change. And They've they are, always they are... bragged about their French fries ever since they switched to sea salt, but yes. they're just mushy. About nothing. They're they're yeah, they too mushy. Not. They're they too mushy. thick. They're not that flavorful. Uh, I think they're bad. I got Wendy's fourth on burger and fifth on fries, but like Wendy's Burger King are both bad fries to me. On the fries, Burger King was the bottom. Then... Wendy's was the, they were the next to the bottom for yeah, me. Yeah, we're in agreement on that. But here's a mistake I made, and I and I know that they would have been unless somehow they've changed. The first burger I got was a Topps burger, a Topps cheeseburger, because I was excited. I hadn't had one in a long time, and that was for one. I forgot to get fries. Still the crinkle fries. Yep. Yeah, they would they would hit. The, I'm not a crinkle fry. Oh, they would hit the bottom for you. I'm yeah, not, they would they I would hit. They would disagree about that. They would not hit. Bottom six, uh, they would still probably come in. They would, let's say, they come in at four. Okay, all right, at four for me. Now, Eric, did you do any fries? We're gonna. I finish. did. I did. I did. Gonna... Fr- I would say of all the. I, again, I skipped water water burger and fr- Freddy's. The fries at Pearls were kind of greasy and bland, and the fries at Tops were super greasy and not great. So it was just kind of like that. Maybe that was just bad batch. Maybe that was whatever. Mm-hmm. I do like when it's good McDonald's fries. Those would be my my favorite of of the. Six we're talking about here. Well, except there might be something yeah, better, true. better to yeah. come. But you will have to join us on uh, Sound Bites. And really, I mean, on Sidebar, and you really don't have to go anywhere because all we're going to do is stop here for a second. Eric's going to introduce us. We're going to come back in and tell you our top three.